hello guys welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to transfer stories for the first time in this series we're going to get to cover up my own club plus five other clubs six players as you know the newest uh, usual way you could call it i'll start doing six players instead of one in this video there's going to be transfer leads from liverpool from united a little bit from chelsea Couple of few outgoings from Liverpool, but anyway, it's all in this video. So, guys, you know what to do. Go to a big fan that you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So, the first player I'm going to kick off with, as I said, it's from my own club, is Adam Lallana. Adam Lallana has had the interest from Brighton. Now, this ain't just recently came about. It's been hanging around the speculation you could call it for you know since the start of maybe june end of may time what do we know about adam well obviously he is quite getting on a bit so i don't mean to defend you uh offend you sorry adam but you know being the age of 32 pushing the end of his career so, so as i said he's got interest from brighton which is great i think someone like adam could definitely be Youthful at our club, I know he's had his injury problems. He started his career way back in 2006, which is, what, 14 years ago now? So, you know, quite a long time for Adam. 14 years in the game of football, that's not too bad. And this does look like if this deal goes, does go through, we will push him on for well over, what did I say it was, 14 years. End of contract is a 30. 1st of July this year um, obviously this year contract extension or month contract extension has only recently came about because of what's happened you know with the stop of the three months he ain't really played a lot for Liverpool this season if I'm all honest he's only played 22 times so you know with the likes of only playing 22 times in a space of how many games there are in the season? I know it's 38 in the Premier League, but then take Champions League, FA Cup, League Cup. That's not really a lot of time to be played. He's played 869 minutes. He's played for England, obviously, 34 times with three goals to his name. He is both footed as well, so left or right really does suit him down to the ground. If I do see him come to Brighton, do I see him being the key man? It's possible, but with the likes of Brighton's midfield, I do think he will be swapped quite a lot between maybe Stevens. Uh, but yeah, this still definitely will be an interest in keeping an eye on with this window. Ferran Torres, sorry if I mispronounced your name, I might probably have somewhere across the line. But as I said, my apologies. Has got interest from Manchester City and United. Both sides of Manchester. Obviously, one's just got his uh, Euro uh, European ban lifted for two years, that would have been. So, you know, a big part of bringing players into City. I know that would have upholded them. It would have been interesting to see if that did still go through. That whether they did have the U European ban, how their team would have been affected. But obviously, we aren't going to see that right now what got lifted. He's 20 years old. So, if you think he's younger than me by uh, quite a few years, I ain't going to say how old I am exactly, but please feel free to put it down in the comments below. He's in the contract. Now, this is why this story. I saw it came into my mind a little bit. It's the 30th of June 21, so a year left. Now, let's not forget, in January, if he's not signed a new contract, he can leave on a freebie. He's got 43 appearances with six goals this season. This pl uh, Torres played a lot more than what Adam Milana has. He's played 3,033 minutes. His main position is on the right side, so Sterling side. And his other position is on the left side, so, you know, Leroy's side. 
And this is what makes this transfer stand out a lot because obviously Leroy has gone over to Bayern Munich and what, you can see my video on that. But, you know, being both sides, it could really be a key to City. But I think it might be more beneficial at United. He did come through the academy at Valencia. Now, trust me, I've seen a Valencia play a few times. So, I know what their academy are like. So, he's got to be worth the money, which will probably be around about 40 million for either United or City. Or who knows, even maybe Liverpool. But, this transfer definitely be an eye opener and keep your eye on through this window. Best way or one of the best ways you can do that is subscribing to my channel and you won't miss a player being transferred into the Premier League or being transferred to another Premier League club or you know stuff like that. So best way to do it is to subscribe to my channel. This other one is going out. Lovren I ain't going to try and pronounce your first name. Has got interest from St. Petersburg. Now, Lovren, now I've got friends that are Liverpool fans, has not got the best reputation of the Liverpool fans. He has made the other mistake. Could he well be out of this ground behind me, Anfield? I do think he will be out of Anfield. But I think he might go on a freebie. I'm not sure whether this deal will go through. Or whether St. Petersburg will wait for the six months and then try and get him on a freebie. Yeah, this is a bit of a sort of, you know, transfer. It'd be nice to see if Liverpool do get a bit of money for him. But as I said, I think St. Petersburg will try and wait on a freebie. He's got 15 appearances this season with one goal. So... You know, obviously being a defender, that's not a bad sack just to have the one goal. He's played 1,190 minutes this season. So, you know, he ain't played a lot this season. 15 times, just ne nearly 1,200 minutes this season. Not quite there. But, yeah, if we still don't go through, I definitely would be keeping an eye on her with the next window, which is supposed to be in... January. Declan Rice. Now, yet again, been a lot of speculation around Declan this window. And I think this one might drag on. But as I said, the best way to keep up to date. Has got interest from Chelsea. Now I know he's got interest from other clubs, um, likes of United. Declan making a move this big. Now, West Ham have nearly guaranteed their safety with a win over Watford. But, Declan making a move like this. Do I think he's ready? I think his best bet, probably not go to a big club like Chelsea. I don't think he'll fit in. He might do with the Frank Lampard putting the youth through. But, Chelsea seem to be getting their own sort of, you know, way of playing. It this could disrupt it a bit. But anyway, 21 years of age, so yet again younger than me. In the contract, 30th of June 2024, so he's still got four years left on his contract. So there's no need for him to rush out the club just yet. His playing time is 3,330 minutes. His main position is a defence midfielder, so Trump around perspective, a Fabino from Liverpool position. But he can play in the centre mid as well, which most of the time I would see him play, I do for him when I watch West Ham. He did come through the West Ham and Chelsea Academy. So the last of the Academy, this is what I'm saying. Him going back to Chelsea, will he fit their philosophy? Please feel free to put it down in the comments below about this one. But Declan Rice, West Ham do lose. It could be a big loss for West Ham. As I've said, it does look like they've guaranteed their Premier League safety with a win over Watford. But, you know, Declan Rice could be on his way out. 
of a whistle up to park, but it's not up to park no more. London Stadium, this one, definitely keep an eye on her because of his age and whether he does move out of West Ham. William has got interest from Man United. Now, this one has came about because of Chelsea are trying to get him to sign a new contract. And what I've seen and what I've read and what I've heard, he's refusing to put pen to paper at this present in time. He's only got literally a couple of months left on his contract. 31st of August 2020, as I said, only a couple of months. 31 years of age, definitely time to move on for William. Why do I think he'll benefit at United? Definitely down one of the sides. I don't think Rashford quite fits that style of play. I have watched this um, FA Cup semi-final, and I don't think he really suited that style of play. Uh, you know, when he plays down the wing, I'd rather have Rashford down the centre. He's played 46 appearances this season, with 11 goals to his name. So, with the likes of that, you know, it definitely would be a steal if Man United I could get his name to pen to paper. He's played 3,306 minutes, so with the likes of him having that amount of time with 46 experiences, yeah, probably just not enough minutes from a William perspective. He's played, he's right foot us, so I don't know, he plays on the right, well I do, but Sterling, uh, Salah, all them kind of players, he definitely will sit the right hand side, so that might probably put James on the left, but anyway, a bit more about him, he, main position is on the right, which I just said, his other positions are on the left, and attacking midfielder, so Bruno Fernandes position, or anyone that plays down the left, Mane, Lee Roy, all those kinds of players, this, if may not get pen to paper, and they are interested in him, or whoever gets the pen to paper and who is interested in him will be a steal, especially if you get him on a freebie. Chelsea did sign him back way back in 2013, so he's had, what, seven years at the club. So not a bad one for William to leave Chelsea now. And that also goes with Chelsea News, style of play, youth system coming through under Frank Lampard. Tiago. Now, Tiago, I've seen him play. I'm not sure if I've actually seen him play live. But anyway, he's got interest from Liverpool. They're 29 years old. Is this one of the players that could do Liverpool some good? I mean, I know they won the Premier League title, and as I said, fair play to Liverpool for doing that. But they got to start looking towards getting a better team. As I said, no disrespect to Liverpool. Great job that Klopp and that Liverpool squad have done winning their first Premier League title within 30 years. But still, to get a little bit better, can Thiago do that for them? Anyway, here's a bit of information on the player. End of contract, 30th of June, 21. Yet again, guess, guess uh, January, he is allowed to leave on a free beat and is allowed to start talking to other clubs. He's played 36 times this season with three goals to his name. So, being the player he is, they ain't too bad, I don't think. He's got two citizenships, which is one in Spain, one in Brazil. I think he's a Brazil international. But to have two citizenships, he will have that time in his career where he had to make that choice. He's played 2,646 minutes this season. Eh, 29 years old, probably expect a little bit more playing time from my perspective. Obviously, please feel free to put those down in the comments below and tell me what you think. His main position is a centre midfielder. Yet again, risk free can really help Liverpool. In my perspective, 
Henderson, Wanyama, as I said, all great players in the Liverpool shirt, but I need to make that next step up. His other positions are attacking midfielder and defence midfielder. So, yet again, Bruno Fernandes' position or a Fabinho position. Could this be a number two for Fabinho? But, anyway, I've got to this video turning. Guys, there'll be a lot more transfer videos coming up through the transfer period. I can't quite remember when the transfer window opens, but it's going way into the start of the season. I think it's 10 weeks after the Premier League season starts that the transfer window still be going on. So guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel. You'll never miss an upload, never miss a plan moving or anything like that. But guys, anyway, you know what to do. Good to have a big crop thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.